Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here. You may or may not know this, but I am also a scuba diver, and today I wanted to talk about the science behind scuba diving. So we're going to first explore colors and how water absorbs and scatters colors. It starts with longer wavelengths, such as red, and then continues to orange, yellow, and violet, and green, and then finally blue. So I have a quiz. This picture was taken at 50 feet. What color is the cloth you see? Would you have guessed that it was bright red? This is that same picture with the flash, showing how water absorbs colors. Continuing on, this shows why shallow water is almost clear, while slightly deeper water has sort of a light blue. Deeper still, you have a darker blue, and then an even darker blue, and some of the darkest waters are almost black. So, now that we've talked about color, let's talk about pressure. Recall that one atmosphere is 14.7 pounds per square inch, and a scuba tank contains one full, about 3,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. These tank markings show that that is equal to 207 atmospheres, and that same tank would have a volume of 80 cubic feet if the air was at one atmosphere of pressure, so roughly the size of a telephone booth. So tanks come in both steel and aluminum. Now aluminum has become more and more favored, because you may recall from my other videos, it is lighter and will not rust. Going on to pressure, we have Boyle's Law, which shows pretty much that pressure and volume are inversely proportional. So we can see that as depth goes greater, we get an additional atmosphere of pressure for every 10 meters, or 33 feet roughly, of seawater. Then volume decreases. So if you hold your breath at depth and come up, you risk long over expansion injury, which is exactly what it sounds like. Nitrogen also causes issues under pressure. So at STP, we have about 1.4 milliliters of nitrogen dissolved in 100 milliliters of blood. Now, that stays roughly constant as you go deeper, but with the more pressure, there's a lot more nitrogen in 1.40 milliliters. So you get nitrogen narcosis, which makes you feel drunk. This can be easily solved by ascending or using different gas mixtures, such as trimix, where some of the nitrogen is replaced by helium, or heliox, where all the nitrogen is replaced by helium. You might start wondering then, well, why don't we just use pure oxygen? I mean, we need oxygen, and we use it up in the body, so it makes perfect sense. Except that oxygen, when you're breathing 1.2 to 1.5 atmospheres of it, becomes toxic and causes seizures followed by death. So, deep dives also carry the issue of decompression sickness, usually caused by nitrogen, though it can be caused by helium or any other gas that the body does not use. So, looking at the bloodstream and seeing the dissolved nitrogen, we're going to learn that the volume of nitrogen expands as pressure decreases, causing nitrogen bubbles in the blood if one ascends too quickly or goes too deep or stays too long and doesn't allow the nitrogen to slowly work its way out. This is known as the compression sickness or the bends, and the only way to treat it is to put someone back under pressure and slowly bring them back out of it. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.